What's going on everybody? It's Mike from the Sneaker History Podcast and we are back with another episode of What's on the Radar guys where I get to scan through the internet with you all and talk about some things that are possibly on my wish list, some things I think are cool and maybe I pick up one or two of these items down the line. But let's go ahead and get right into it. First of all, thank you before we even get into that. You guys seem to really like the first segment of this, so I want to do another one for you and see how they keep building, but I really do appreciate the support on me trying different and new things, so thank you for that, and if you are new to the channel, or if you hadn't done so already, hit that subscribe button, leave a like, drop a comment, those things help the video get through the algorithm, so of course more people can see it, and the channel can keep growing, so thank you guys who have all done that, and of course thank you for whoever's going to do it in the future. So let's get right on into it, so we are looking at just some different things out there that, that really, you know, Caught my eye. Some things that I thought were pretty interesting. Uh, first things first, we're on the Nike website, as you guys can see. And one thing that's really caught my eye is probably not something many people would think of as, you know, oh, I'm going to go get that as new. But it is actually the LeBron Trainer one. Uh, as someone who, you know, tries to be in the gym as much as possible, uh, you guys probably seen the videos of some of the workout shoes I have done reviews on. My wife and I, we do, we do CrossFit. Uh, we're you know kind of getting more and more and more into it and I just like to try out different shoes things that are out there and I want to try out this LeBron TR1 um, It sold out initially in this dunk man color and looks like it sold out again in most sizes That's the really one I really wanted, but I really want to test this one out uh, Even if I do to get this purple one, which is super purple um, Seems like a pretty cool shoe uh, Seems pretty flexible for some of the things I've seen seems pretty light uh, supposed to be good for those high intensity uh, interval trainings. So I'm gonna try this pair out. I would love to get it on sale because I really would not spend 130 bucks on it. Uh, so I'd definitely probably be waiting for a coupon code because I know they have the 25% off code you guys on pointing up, up here right now, but I don't think it takes, um, I don't think it works on this. Let's try it. I mean, we're, we're here, we're not, nothing happening. So let's add it to the bag. Let's view our bag. What else did I have in there? I'm, I'm supposed to be buying something I didn't remember. Ah, enough some REMs I was looking for for my kiddo. Um, get all that junk off here. Ah, uh, yeah. So it looks like the code does not work for the LeBron trainer one. So that's what I'm going to throw into my favorites. And Keep on the pricing because something's telling me that the more colors they produce of this shoe, the more likely we're going to get a cheaper price because I don't think these are going to sit up for full price for too long, but you guys let me know what you think on that one. Now, one of the other things that's really been of interest to me because I've never owned them. This is kind of a grail shoe to me. Um, and you guys say, why haven't you owned this? Well, I just never got a chance to get them. I think they're super expensive for what they are. So I just, I, I just haven't, haven't bought a pair. Um, and that's going to be foam posits. Uh, I have not had a real iteration of foams ever. I think I had the foam rookies that came out in 2012. It's like that hybrid penny shoe. And oh, I'll take that back. I had foam posit max, uh, Tim Duncan shoe. Had the all black when it came out in 2011, 2012. I wish I would have kept it. I sold it to get something else. I wish I would have kept that shoe. That was an awesome shoe. It was huge, but it was just a really cool different shoe. But when I'm talking about foam posits, I'm not talking about the originals. Foam posit 1, foam posit pro. I haven't had any of those in my lifetime of collecting sneakers. And I really want a pair, and I think it might be the perfect time because as you look at the Foot Locker website, got a couple different pairs still sitting. Uh, the Royals, which of course classic. Sold out in a lot of sizes, but eight through 10 are still there, and of course I am a size 10, so this would, this would be perfect. Um, but that 240 price tag is a little squirrely for me. I don't, it's hard. Uh, guys, I, I've got, you, you know already, I, I told you I'm cheap. I don't like spending that much for a single pair. I, I like to get the value. Uh, I like to see how many I can get for 240 as opposed to just one single shoe. But I will say, this one I know will hold up for a while, and you know what, it is something I really wanted, so it definitely is. Uh, I want to have it as, a, I guess, a staple to the collection or one of those, you know, again, those grills. I know it's, uh, people throw the word grill around, but this is one of those models I've just always wanted and I just hadn't got a pair yet. So, really kind of feel like there's no excuse now because not only can I find that pair here in the in the Royals, but they also have the Orwood color, which honestly, I think is probably way more wearable than any other one because it's nice kind of cream tan, like, like this brown color. I like them. I don't think many people did like them because it was... A brown off-white color but I think they're pretty solid they're again very wearable in my opinion but again got to do your research because you can definitely find things cheaper everywhere uh, you just got to put the legwork in so jumping in the goat right on the home page we have the foam posit one Royals 
and we have them from 169 in my size here. She's varying prices for varying sizes, of course. But if I jump on in, boom, let's act like we're gonna buy it, of course, and it's gonna give me the full price out. 198.91 shipped. I mean, that is gonna be 42 bucks, or sorry, 41 dollars and nine cents under retail. And yes, I probably wait a little longer to get them. But $198.91 after all things are said and done is a way better price. So I'm definitely got this one um, got this one bookmarked because I, I definitely want to get a pair. Just again, want to make it make sense, you know? But let's see here. Right? Let's look at the other phone positive as well. So we saw the Royal, and again, I like that. Uh, let's see here. There we go. Let's start searching around here. Yeah, I wish I could get the cherry blossom, but I'm not paying for that. Uh, a couple different prices, nothing that's like jumping out at me. Here we go. All right, so the Orwood pair, about 14 bucks cheaper than the Royals. Jump on in here, and it looks like 183, so not bad at all. 183, I, I like that. That is, that is that's good. I, I like that. That is literally almost uh, geez, it's like 50, what 57 dollars cheaper. So, and that's not even accounting for tax and shipping up the Foot Locker website. So, either I need to get a gift card or I'm going this route because I, I want to go with the, the better deal. And I definitely, definitely, definitely am wanting to add one of those two to the collection soon. But you guys let me know what you think. Are they, which one do you prefer? I mean, I'm sure everyone's going to probably lean towards those. But also thinking about wearability because I want to get as many wears as possible. And I don't wear as much blue, but I do wear a lot of earth tones. So, like the, the beige, the greens, things like that. I don't know. We'll see because again, it's one of the ones I really I'm not terribly picky on a color. I just want one that's I want the nice one. All right. So we looked at the foams here. Now I wanted to take a look at something new as well. So we talked we talked about a couple things that are sitting around, of course. Uh, but New Balance is look like they're making a strong push at the end of the year. So first off, we're gonna have some new additions to the Action Bronson Baklava. Uh, so first thing we're gonna have is gonna be the Rebel, but then we also have the Minimus, which is right here. It looks like more of a trail shoe. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. Uh, let's see if we got better pictures here. That's the Rebel still. But both very active shoes. So this one's more of a performance runner. Uh, I can't see the tread on it. I think I think that was more of a road runner, but they're kind of putting it everywhere in these pictures. Uh, but the Minimus is gonna be definitely more trail oriented. But I, I like this stuff. Um, these things are cool to me. Something's telling me that these may be a little easier to get than we saw with the previous ones like the 1906 or the two, um, geez, not 2000, not 90 V6. I feel like these may be a little easier to get possibly because they're very specific to performance, I think, that it won't draw the same crowd. But I can be completely off base and wrong here. I think I'm just hoping that they're not going to draw a big crowd because I really do like these as well. Um, I'd love to have a chance to to snag a pair and from my understanding We are getting a release uh, This Friday, so both the baklava new balance fuel cell rebel v4 and the m10 minimus trail Will be available on Friday November 1st exclusively on Specializing life.com. I have no idea what that is. Let's find out I guess All right, let's find out what specializing life.com is. Hopefully it's nothing weird. All right, let's see. Ah, I have no password. Uh, so I guess I should probably sign up for this. So hey, look, you guys can watch me sign up, I guess. Uh, uh, do all that. And you guys already know my email. If you need to hit me up, you always know the Mike at Sneaker History. And uh, put in my shoe size here going on one second guys I got a small child who needs a little assistance oh there you go all right now we are are, are back <laughs> all right so I got the subscription in so I will check my email for that confirmation page so I'll just keep my eye out for that I guess uh, oh, there we go Boop. Ba ba ba. yeah I'll go ahead and do that all right, so we did it. Let's see what happens, right? So on Friday, I'll keep my eyes open. I mean, am I gonna actually buy them? 
who knows? But at least I did the leg work to possibly do so. So who knows? I mean, maybe I changed my mind by the time it's all over. I mean, heck, now I just want to go, since we're talking about that that uh, Rebel, I actually really like that shoe. I never really paid attention to it until I saw the, the Action Bronson one. So let's go in, uh, let's see here. Rebel V4. Okay, let's see. I got two colors of this one. Oh, okay, I got a couple. Huh. You know what? You guys might think I'm crazy. I think I'm just gonna end up buying a pair of here. I mean, again, I like the actual Bronson pair, but I just like I like the design of the shoe more than anything. So, man, this may be a uh, definitely one that is a uh, higher priority on the list. So this is what happens: I always find shoes that I like. Like, oh, I want these. I want these. But then I always find something else. It's always this, oh, I swear, it's always a cycle. So it's like you really gotta pick and choose your spots, pick and choose your battles because, again, I'm not buying everything I want, you know, so wish list, right? So you, you wish for it, you hope for it. Um, but being realistic, I own, like, you only can save up so much. So there's so many more other, very much more important things that we deal with on a day to day basis that we're not gonna sit here and buy every one of these shoes. I mean, you're right, you'll rack up an over $1,000 bill just looking at the shoes we're looking at the video today. So that's insane. But Anywho, back on track, I like this a lot. Uh, and the price is right in my wheelhouse. $139.99, that's what I'm talking about. And I'm sure, again, I will hunt down a discount code. So if I can get it for even cheaper, you better believe I'm gonna try. But this is cool. So they have this white with linen and sea salt, which is my first choice, obviously. Uh, what else we got? Uh, this is not bad. I, I like this olive color as well. I don't think it wears as well like this, uh, like this one does. But I, this one's definitely, I think that's gonna be on the list here, guys. And you know what? I'm gonna try something. I have a some of my I guess flex points I've earned that I want to use. If they have sneakers in here, or they have it in here. Oh, hold on, guys. One more time. See, look, I'm getting all hung up on this one shoe. I just wanted to show you guys more shoes, and I started doing something else. But no, looks don't think they sell that one at Foot Locker. Re I, reason I brought it up because again, I have like 20 bucks or 25 dollars off my next purchase, and I thought maybe, hey, let's get this bad boy down to like 100 bucks. Um, but no, this is one I am definitely excited about. Like, I messed up. I didn't. I didn't plan on spending time on this shoe really on this video. Ooh, I like this one too. Yep. I think I've settled at this point. This is going to be at least top priority for the next few uh, next sneaker purchase because this one's just really cool. I like that. And I like comfortable stuff, guys. I mean, stuff I, I've been buying lately. I still, again, love basketball stuff. I'll never get away from that. But comfort has been a top priority for me because I feel like I'm on my feet a lot, whether it be you know running around with the family or in the gym. It's just comfort is a, a big plus, especially like when my wife and I were chasing our kids around. So. Things like this really do catch my eye, especially stuff that looks good like this. But, like, things I've been getting lately, I just got this pair of the Mizuno uh, Wave Rider Betas in. I'm gonna do a video on these soon, but these are amazing. These are, these need to be seen more and talked about more here in the States. I feel like we talk about them, or they talk about them overseas more, like in, in Europe and in the Asia territories, the Asian areas. Um, it is such a cool like those are cool shoes comfortable shoes look good really i think uh, can really go hand in hand with like that again the new balance lifestyle side of things but yeah this one's definitely one we're gonna get on uh on on on, on, on i can't even, I can't even talk i'm stuttering now sorry guys i'm gonna get one in the collection now another one i want to pop up here is we're talking about new balance again they're making a strong push so we got the action bronze and stuff but also they got another salehi uh, collaboration coming out here in a, I think a couple of days. Let me see. But let's see here. Yeah, we got the 539 Pros. Oh, five th geez, guys. 530 Prosperity Beat a Prize. It releases. What's today? The 28th. So, well, oh, releases tomorrow. I'm definitely not getting this one. But I like the way it looks. I love that kind of lemon yellow. Uh, I love the little multicolored hits like the purple outsole, the green torsion bar. 
Such a cool shoe. Uh, I feel like it just kind of popped up out of nowhere. And I, again, New Balance has been very consistent over the past couple years, I feel like. And they're not showing any signs of slowing. I love, look at that, that look at that hairy suede you're getting right there. You're getting that nice mesh. You're getting a lot of mixture of like good materials, looks like. I, I would love to check this pair out. And let's, let's see, I, again, a, a model I never really looked at, but because Cool Colorway came out, Makes it a little bit more interesting. I don't necessarily have to have this one per se, but if I can find something with, you know, that's equally cool on the GR side or inline side, I'm perfectly okay with that. I, I don't think people realize that this stuff is cool. I love the collaboration stuff. Awesome creativity, awesome projects, but collections aren't made of just purely collaborations, right? Like, I'm gonna look at this and say, oh, I like the shoe. It makes me interested. Like, that's what collaborations do to me. It makes me interested in shoes if it's something new I hadn't seen. So this makes me want to go look at the 530 because, again, I had never seen the 530. I never paid attention to it, at least. So let's go 530. Is it something you're even selling right now? Yeah. And first off the bat, I don't care for it. Collaboration, fantastic. I think that mix of materials makes this shoe way better than what it is, but it doesn't have the same effect like the Rebel V4. I think that one looked good regardless of what we're doing. This one, not so much. So... Uh, I feel like there's definitely, this is someone's cup of tea, not knocking it, just, just not for me. So, I don't know. I, I think that uh, if I can get a Salehi pair without having to pay too much, I, I'm definitely okay with that. Um, but yeah, like, so again, this is what's on the radar. So just a couple things that have been really piquing my interest. You guys let me know down below what's on the radar for you guys. Something that maybe I missed that you think I might think is cool that I maybe should add to the collection. Or maybe something you guys know about that's coming out later that we can put in the next video. I love the suggestions. I love the interactions. You guys are awesome. And until next time, guys, see ya.